Hey guys, so I thought I would do another what we ate this week. So I was just going to show you what I'm prepping up for tonight. So we're going to have baked potato soup with uh, some ham. I got a great deal on ham at Aldi. So I'm going to do a stove top version. And I'm going to do a crock pot version of the same. I use the same exact recipe. I will link that down below for you guys. And then I had enough. I used 10 pounds of potatoes. I could not fit all the potatoes in either one. So I still have, oh, probably three pounds left. And what I'm going to do is kind of fry them up. And we will use those with our eggs for breakfast. I bet it'll be a good two to three breakfast worth of potatoes in here with our eggs for my family of seven. So we're making those potatoes stretch for us. And I will come back and show you this stove top we're going to do actually for a lunch today. And then with leftovers, we'll have that for dinner. Plus I have leftovers from our pork ragu last night. For the potatoes that were left over that I'm going to turn into breakfast, uh, with the potatoes, I went ahead and used a little bit of the ham for my potato soups and threw it in here. It's not a ton, but it'll give it a good flavor and be a yummy treat in some bites. Then I also had some um, garlic and onion left over from the soup, so I grinded it up really well and just put it in here for flavor. And then I had some chicken broth on hand, so I put that in here as well. And that's just cream cheese from my soup. So I'm going to put the lid on and let those cook up well. That'll be a yummy extra treat for breakfast. So here's how our potato soup on the stove is coming along. It smells absolutely delicious. Everything's kind of getting incorporated in there. The potatoes need longer to cook. So I'm just letting this simmer on low. And then the potatoes going to be honest, I forgot these were cooking, started doing dishes, so they are a little uh, mushier than I intended, but they smell delicious, they'll taste delicious, we will, you know, add eggs when we decide to have them for breakfast, Yay. and that'll be good, watch out baby, it's really hot, and then I still have um, potato soup going in the crock pot, that won't be done until about five or six, it's going to cook on high for six hours, so that is how everything's looking, I'm going to take these out and store them in a big old bowl with a lid for tomorrow morning's breakfast. All right, our potatoes are done. Smelling, oh, focus camera. Smells great, but it's, we want it to be thicker. But I don't want to blend. It says you blend your potatoes to make it thicker. We want the big chunks. So we're just gonna take a little bit of, it's a half a cup of flour, and I'm just eyeballing this milk here. I would guess that to be nice a third of a cup. Hold on, baby. Okay. And we're going to whisk mm -hmm. it so that way we don't have chunky flour in our soup. We don't want chunky flour in our soup, do we? No, we don't. Here, do you want to stir, Violet? Sure. Still have my mess from cooking my potatoes here. Those were delicious. Didn't add any salt to them, but because I added the chicken broth, they were very salty, very good. Let me add a little bit more milk. So it might be more like a half of a cup. And we will add that and see if that was enough flour to, let me see, let me feel. Okay, so we're going to add this in and see how it goes. It's filled basically to the top here. It's nice, it's thicker now, so it has a good consistency. We're going to bowl this up and have it, it's almost one here. We're going to have this for a lunch. So for dinner, a lot of us had the leftover potato soup, but the ones who aren't, so me and my husband and my youngest, we're going to have some of the leftover pork ragu that we had last night. I normally freeze the leftovers and turn it into a second dinner, um, but I just put it in the fridge because I knew that he was off this weekend and we might need it for lunch. But since we had potato, can't get that too close, potato soup for lunch, I'm just heating this up. Um, and what I do with the pork ragu is I just take a whole pork shoulder or a whole pork butt, put it in my crock pot, one jar of tomato, like marinara sauce, and about four or five large carrots, cut those up, and I put that on low for like seven hours, and it's cooked, and it's yummy and flavorful, and it makes two dinners, or you know, a dinner and a lunch, whatever you want to do, two meals for our family of seven. So the ones of us who want this for dinner will have this, and I'll put the rest back in the fridge for maybe, you know, some lunch tomorrow for whoever else wants that. Alright, Aria is helping me get the garlic in here so we can get that going. 
we are going to do, let's see if I can show you, this honey garlic chicken wings. So, however many chicken wings you think you need to feed your family, this is what I'm going to do. And then one cup of honey, two to three garlic cloves, salt and pepper, super simple. And then you can cook it on low for seven to eight hours or high for four to five. I'm going to do mine on high because I'm just now getting this in. It's 1018 and we eat dinner kind of early. So this is what we're doing. Here was the potato soup recipe that I used as like my base and then I switched it up and changed things and I will give you all that down in the description and then later this week we're going to be doing taco soup so I'll have I'll try to put all this stuff in the description so you can just go down there and look but instead of chicken wings I improvised because all these had these drumsticks so um, these are in my haul but so for 4.16 pounds I only paid 2.87 and then for this one, it was, let's see if I can read it upside down, almost four pounds for two ninety or two sixty six. So I'm gonna do drumsticks instead. Okay, Aria stirring up. I just squeezed, I did not measure. I eyeballed a cup of honey in there with all of our ground up garlic. Are you getting it all mixed in? Yeah? Good job. And then I'm just going to get all these drumsticks in here okay we got all our chicken in here I got my honey and garlic mixture in here and I'm honestly just gonna get in here with my hands and mix it all up okay I got that all mixed up with my hands so we're just gonna cook this on high for about what did we say four to five hours so we'll see what it looks like for dinner tonight for dinner tonight we're gonna have that chicken I showed you the chicken drumsticks I pulled them out of the crock pot and they just did not look like um, appetizing for my children. So we have moved them, watch out Violet, it's going to be hot, into here and I've added some more of the honey and garlic and just kind of smothered them up and then these up here we actually added some barbecue to and I'll show, those, show you those when they get out but that's what we're doing and then we're going to have some of this Aldi shells and cheese. It's actually not bad, all these regular macaroni I'm not a big fan of. But this is actually pretty good. And they're like $2.19, I think, a box. Are you going to help me stir the macaroni? Who's going to help me stir? Me. You? Me. Both of you? Yeah. Okay. So in here, you can see a little better. So that's our honey and garlic mixture. And that is the barbecue mixture. So those will be for dinner. And then the shells and cheese are in here. Violet's helping. And then we'll have this spring mix with this Chipotle Ranch, and that'll be for dinner on Sunday. I won't be able to show it to you plated because I'm about to leave to go to the movies with my mom. Maybe my husband will take a picture for us and show us how yummy, yummy it looks. It smells great, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, guys, so for dinner tonight, we're going to be having taco soup. When I buy ground beef, I always buy this from Aldi. It's five pounds. It's nine ninety nine, and I can make multiple dinners with this. So when I cook the ground beef, like tonight we're having taco soup, I'm going to cook or prep all of this. So I know I need this. I'm going to have two taco soups out of it, and I'm going to have a baked spaghetti out of it, and I'm going to make meatballs for pasta meatball stroganoff dish that we're going to have later in the week. So the meatball meat, I obviously won't cook. I will prep that and put that in the freezer or fridge, depending on how soon we're going to have it. And then the rest of it, I will go ahead and cook. Even if I'm doing it in the crock pot, I like to have my ground beef cooked because I'm just not a fan of the texture of ground beef when it cooks in the crock pot. I just can't do it. I don't know why. So I'm going to cook up the majority of this ground beef, save a little bit, and I'll get my meatballs prepped and frozen. And then you can do this taco soup on the stove. You can do it in the crock pot. Um, obviously, if you put your meat in there raw, it has to cook for longer, so depending on how you do it, you're looking at cooking it on high for four to five hours and on low for about seven hours. Um, that's just how it works. Now mine's going to be cooked, so I could cook it on the stove, but my big pot is a, a goner. I don't have it, and I only have this, this one. I'm not sure how many quarts it is, but this would only hold one dinner's worth of soup. So because I'm cooking my meat, I'm going to put it in the crock pot on low and give it like three hours because my meat's already cooked but that'll give me enough room in there to cook enough 
uh, soup to turn it into two, so we'll eat what we need tonight. I'll put the rest in a baggie and freeze it. So that's what we're doing. I have my skillet heating up so I can fit all the meat in there I need to, and we're gonna get this going. So along with our ground beef for taco soup, I'm going to be putting in this whole thing of crushed tomatoes. It is 28 ounces. I'm gonna be doing eight ounces of cream cheese. It just makes it extra creamy. Two cans of mild chili beans and two cans of black beans. And this just really bulks it up so I don't have to use as much meat. You could just do one can, but I find that you add in those beans and people don't really notice it's less meat. They're just a lot more soup. And then just one can of corn. You could do two, but it just is a good amount for our family. And then because I like to get as much done at one time as I can when I'm cooking, since I'm already cooking the spaghetti meat, I'm going to already get my spaghetti ready. And then I will put it in a baking dish and freeze it. That works out well for me. I freeze it. I let it thaw so the glass is not super hot. And then I cook it in there. So that's what we got going on right now. Okay, Liam. Okay, that's fine. Liam is going to dump in all of our cans for us. In we got there? the... Yes, in there. I already put in the crushed tomatoes. Yep, so we got two cans of black beans, can of corn, and two cans of uh, chili beans. And you said you're going to give it a try, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Going to try some taco soup? Liam? Huh? Are you going to try taco soup? Yeah. Yeah? That's good. And then you can tell, see, I have my rest of my beef for my meatballs over there. I just don't have enough counter space to get that going yet. And my big girls are working on math, so I don't have the extra hands. Okay, dump that in. Good job. Oh, Aria, hold on. It's full. Liam's going to do it. You can help in a minute. There we go. Got that all stirred in. Now, Liam, would you like to take... Yeah, you can throw those away first. That would be helpful. Cut it this way. Okay, come here. I want you to cut it this way. Okay. And then you can use your knife, generally, and then okay. that will just help it to spread around in there easier. Now be careful for this. This is cooking hot meat. Yeah, good job. Let's scoot you down a little bit so you don't get popped. You're doing great. Yeah. All right, now Liam's going to get that all stirred up. Now this is just like the beans and the corn and the tomatoes and the cream cheese. I did not drain any of my beans or corn. I figure when making a soup, the more juices, the better transfer the taco meat over. Now I will say when I buy the five pounds of beef I split it up just whatever makes sense so like I know for my meatballs and my taco soup I need more meat for my family's preferences so I would guess eyeballing it I'm gonna use about two pounds on the taco soup and about two pounds on the meatballs and then just one pound on the spaghetti because that just seems to work best for us. I am using my spaghetti stir spoon, whatever you call this, so that way I can kind of let the meat, or the grease I mean, go through and not get carried over. We don't want greasy soup. Okay, so I added two packs of just this Aldi's taco seasoning, and now I will get that all just stirred up together. Put the lid on here, turn it on to high, and like I said, my beef is cooked, so we're going to do about three hours. Um, you could probably even do it with two, but we're going to do three. If your meat's not cooked, like I said, you can do it high, about four to five hours, or low for about seven hours, and that's what I've done in the past. I've just figured out I don't like beef in the crock pot, so let this simmer. You can also add chilies to this. Um, just anything you want. This is just a combination of things that my family likes, so that's what we are going with. And then we have our spaghetti meat, and let's just turn up the spaghetti there. And we'll get that transferred over to the pan, let it cool, freeze it, and then I'll get going on my meatball mixture. Okay, Aria's getting the bread torn up, so we can put it in there and chop chop it, huh? Are we going to chop chop it? Yeah! Chop, chop it, and then we'll add in our seasonings. We have garlic salt, which, sad, sad thing. This is going to be the rest of it. And Italian seasoning. Huh. Yeah. And onion powder. 
And then some of this good stuff. Did you get it all chopped chopped? Yeah. Up there we got it all chopped chopped. Dump it in. Whoosh. Okay, and then I also add in a couple of eggs. So I'll go grab those. Soup is cooking. Spaghetti is about ready. You want to do eggs? Can you move your hair? Can you get out of your face? Yeah. Okay, let's get some eggs. So, two eggs beat and put in, breadcrumbs in. We're going to add some. I eyeball everything. Who's got time for measuring, right? Aria, do you have time for measuring? Yeah? yeah? Okay, well, Mama doesn't. Okay, so my family kind of voted that they want spaghetti tomorrow. So I'm not going to freeze it this time. I'm just going to prep it and stick it in the fridge and reheat it tomorrow. But I have before done this and I just, you can stick it in the freezer for quite a while. I've done it before for like six weeks and it was perfectly, perfectly fine. And it's a great thing to have in the freezer for when you're busy, you've been out all day. Uh, you know, when you get home, oh no, it's late. Gotta get something for dinner. Well, you can just pop spaghetti in. So what I do is I just put my meat, trying to get the last little bit. Oh, my kitchen lighting. And then I'm just going to put my meat and my sauce all in here, stir it up, stick it in there. I just use one can uh, when I do it. If you want to add extra, of course, you can. That's just how we do it. So I'm going to get that mixed up. I forgot to mention I did butter my noodles and salt and garlic salt and all that stuff. So Liam is going to top it with some mozzarella so it'll be extra cheesy. And then we're going to add some of that same mozzarella to this. Wow, look at you. Do you have two spoons? Yeah? You must be extra strong to hold both those spoons. Spaghetti is all done. Big spaghetti. I'm going to cover it up and get this in the fridge. And then get to my meatballs. Okay, so here's the meatballs all made up. I'm going to flash freeze them so they don't stick to themselves, you know, to each other when I put them in the freezer bag. Soup all bowled up here. It smells delicious. We're just going to kind of treat it like a taco. You can crumble up tortilla chips or sour cream cheese, hot sauce. We have salsa in the fridge. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we're going to have the baked spaghetti, which is in the oven. Um, it was just in the fridge throughout the evening and last night, so it's in the oven cooking. And then I got these um, zucchinis on sale at Aldi for 79 cents a pack, which is amazing. So my oldest, Melissa, is going to get these cut up. in our pan with all the zucchinis. We probably won't eat all of those tonight, but I'm going to go ahead and cook them all and then I can have them for a quick heat up for a lunch or something. Okay. Okay. So dinner's done. We have the baked spaghetti and the zucchini. When you bake this, I baked it for 30 minutes from the fridge. Um, you can cover it with foil or just make sure you don't bake it too long. It can get crunchy. So I have like just this section here. The rest of it's fine. So you can cover it with foil if you don't want that to happen and then just take it off the last few minutes. And then the zucchini, oh, it smells delicious. So we're gonna plate this up and have it for dinner tonight. Okay, for dinner tonight, we're heating up those meatballs. I just put those out yesterday and let them thaw. So we're gonna cook those at 350. And then we're just gonna make our stroganoff sauce, boil some pasta. If you wanna see how I make this, I will link the video in which I show that at the end of this video. But that's gonna be dinner for our Thursday. Last night we went out to eat, so I can't show you that. But yeah, this is a, a new family favorite of ours. Okay, there's the meatballs and stroganoff that we've made for dinner tonight. So if you want to see this recipe, again, I will link the stroganoff recipe in the end of the video. And I also have in that same video exactly how I made the meatballs. So that will be linked at the end. But this is dinner for tonight. Mm -hmm.